Hi everybody and welcome to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a magnetic fold out. And what I'm going to use is I picked out some uh, nice papers that came out of a paper studio pack. Um, these specific ones um, I got out of the Newsworthy. It's called Newsworthy. Um, this is going to be a nature magnetic fold out. That's why I picked out uh, the bugs. And those specific papers, those came out of this one right here, which is the newsworthy one. And then the remainder of the papers came out of entirely textures. And those ones are these right here. And I'm probably not going to put any paper on the folder on this specific tutorial. I'm going to do this in two parts, but here's the other papers I picked out. So that will be for later. And then what else you're going to need is you're going to need a file folder. And I picked out the specific one uh, that I got from um, Office Max, I believe it was. And I really liked how sturdy they were, and plus it was on sale. <laughs> They're by Southworth is what it says on the bottom of it. But, uh, so there's that. And then we're going to be using some 5x7 photo magnets that I did get at the dollar store. However, I have had them for quite some time. Uh, like, mm, darn near 17 years. Um, I got them when my son was real little. And I sat there and used to cut out his little baby pictures and put them on magnets and stick them on the fridge. So, but I've been thinking uh, of something different that I could do. And when I was organizing my craft room, I came across them. And I'm like, you know what? I wonder what I can do with those. And I like the sound of magnets snapping together. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a magnetic fold out. So that's what I'm calling it is a magnetic fold out. And I'll add pockets and tags and stuff to it later but this is basically how you do it and um, I did one other just to see how it would go and it worked out fine and I used two packs however I only have one pack left so I'm going to see if I can't utilize one rather than using two because the least amount that you use then you can make that that many more um, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't still have them um, I got them in the spot where the photo frames were so if they don't have them there, they are uh, called Saravel, S-A-R-A-V-E-L. And then on the back in small print, it says it's by Markson Products, M-A-R-K-S-O-N Products in Itasca, Illinois. So you may be able to find these exact ones or you might have to get something different, but uh, this is what I'm using. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did with the folder. Um, it ended up looking like this. And what I did is I took this folder and I cut it lengthways. And it's about, uh, let's see, five, six. It's like six inches long by five wide is what it ends up being but anyway six inches long so I measured it off and then I cut it and then what I did is I undid it all um, originally it was folded like this was it like this originally it was folded like this so what I did is I just peeled open the bottom so that I'd have a longer a longer piece so and you can make this as long as you want you know it depends on what size you want for your journal I'm just going with this because I like this specific size so I'll go ahead and get the magnets opened up and just a thought had occurred to me that uh, I think I will keep this little plastic bag that it came in and maybe make me some shaker tags or something with it, huh? I've got a few of them now since I've been working with this tonight. So um, I want a piece here and here. And I was just taking the first one and cutting it in half. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to need a little bit more than that. I'm going to need, I think, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. So I'm going to uh, cut it a little bit smaller, but we'll see how it works out. But I'm going to take a hunk like this. going to cut it in half and hopefully it'll be strong enough if it's not then I'll know that I need to make sure I get use the two again <laughs> so and then what I do is I take and stick it on like that and you kind of watch it because they of course the magnets they want to like move all off center but it's kind of got to force it down there because they found it's best if you get them in the exact same spot Obviously, and I like to have them as much dead on as I can, and then you just fold it so that it'll stick. And there, and there you have that part. So it looks like it just might be okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part um, right here, and I folded it backwards because I wanted to go ahead and put a um, a tuck spot right here. And this is so dark black, I apologize. It's just, uh, there we go. I'll have to hold it up a little bit when I get done doing it. I'm going to take a strip like that. So I need two for that. And I'm going to put one long ways right here. I want to put it like in the middle because I don't want this bottom part not to stick. And then I will take this piece, lay it on top of that one. I'll take off the backing of that. Fold that like that so that I've got that. It seems pretty good. So as you see, Then that folds to that. We've got that magnetic to that. And now we're going to work on this spot. Uh, let's see, how do I want this to work? If it's I'm folding it like this is how I want it to go. Okay. And you do have to make creases really good with a bone folder as well. So, let's see. I'm going to need four more pieces. And I'm really bad about measuring things. I'm I pretty much eyeball everything. Unless it's like uh, my journals when I want to do my spines and such. I always want to make sure that those are nice because just like nice clean lines and stuff. This is going to be covered up so you're not even going to see it anyway. So it really is kind of immaterial. And let's see, how did I say that was folding? So... It's going to go like this. So I want one here. And one on top. This one was more. Alright. Peel off that. Ah! It's sticking to me. Try that again. Down there as best as I can, straight. And there you go for that. Now let's see how it's holding. Okay, now see, I want this part not to flop down, so I'm going to put a strip here and here on the back as well. And like I said, you can fold your it any way you want. entirely up to you you might find that um, you want a smaller version of this you want to fold it in different directions it doesn't make a difference this is the general idea and the concept so and there and I'm going backwards like that and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bone folder and I'm gonna go ahead and crease these a little bit better make sure I've got all Increased how I want. That helps it stay down as well. All right. 
and there you have it so I'm holding it up the bottom isn't falling out I hold it this way the top isn't falling down you can hear it snap together I really like that <laughs> it's just really cool so there you go and it is all magnetized and there's the inside and then here's the other tag that I'm going to fold this way it also comes up that way and then you open it like that see so we got all the pieces of the magnet on there and it folds right up all right so that's how you make the magnetic fold out and I will be back with a part two with uh, some uh, paper on it and uh, a little bit of decoration. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, join me again. I really appreciate your time and taking a look at what I've got to offer. And just remember that life is a journey and not a destination. So come on that journey with me some more. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Till later. Bye.